My name is Rich and I'm from Portland, Oregon in the USA. And uh, I have a business along with my husband and business partner. It's called Hotel Guys. And uh, you can find out what we do, what we've shot, which is like 80 videos using the Google Pixel XL camera phone, which we were highly impressed with. Purchased the phone in November as it was being released, November of 2016, took off, headed to Southeast Asia, and began quite a process of filming and editing with this Google Pixel phone. So, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Early into January, the phone feels like it's overheated after being out um, for the day in uh, northern Thailand and uh, return back to the hotel, spend uh, close to 90 minutes trying to troubleshoot this brand new phone. Eventually, she pronounced it dead, that being the customer service uh, care team with Google. And uh, we just kind of lost a lot of pictures. And I was told that they would be happy to ship the replacement phone to my home address in the United States. Could only go to the United States, not into another country. So, fortunately, our niece was arriving in Vietnam and a few months later, she brings this replacement phone. I continue, we finish shooting the rest of our travels. It got me through up to the point of our departure in September. And this time, the hotel guys headed off to India. A few weeks into the travels, like maybe five, again, the replacement Google Pixel overheats and I'm thinking, wow, that wasn't just a one-time fluke. This is a, po a, a problem. Now, I'm not a computer engineer. I'm not tech savvy. I'm just a camera guy who loved this camera. And I'll tell you, when that second phone came to me in Vietnam, I felt like, eh, you know, you betrayed me once, Google Pixel. I'm a little nervous and I almost did a film talking about my kind of disdain for what I was hanging on to, the replacement phone. So anyway, here we are now in India. I've lost uh, a lot of good content on this dead phone. And fortunately, my business partner and husband Paul also bought this phone back in early November of 2016. This phone has never been really a problem. And maybe it's because I do most of the video and photography work when we're out traveling. And I don't know why, but I ended up with two now, two bad phones from Google Pixel. So I get on the phone and I spend, uh, you know, a lovely conversation with their customer service guy. And he quickly looked things up and decided that, yes, it's dead and that you'll need to return it. My request was, all right, we will ship it to you. Would you please pay for the DHL shipping, shipping costs so that you can perhaps diagnose what went wrong? And I might add that after the first one died, I was reassured that they would contact me and let me know really what happened. And uh, maybe were they able to pull all of those pictures that I lost off the phone? Never got anything back from them. So I requested shipping. Oh no, that's not our policy. Then I'm asking, okay, would you, since the Pixel 2 just has launched and I've read eh, some about that camera and I'm thinking, okay, the processor has changed. Perhaps it's e even better than this camera. So I'm like, okay, Google, you need to do a makeup here and maybe treat your customer nicely and give me the new phone. So he said, no, that's not possible. And I'm requesting him to go and speak to his supervisor. And fortunately, I'm in a real chill place in India and my blood pressure maintained, you know, quite calm since this is now twice that I've had phones die on me. So he comes back and he's like, sorry, it's not uh, possible you're not going to be able to do that. So, of course, 
You never know until you ask. Um, I spoke to his supervisor. We had a conversation. My blood pressure kind of increased and increased because you know what? It's corporate policy. And when there's corporate policy and the supervisor knows it by the book, sorry, but the warranty was for one year. And this is what I heard come out of his mouth. Your phone, the replacement phone that I started using in like February, well, it's probably March of 2017. So it's at the end of its life. And I'm like, explain that to me. Well, the real truth is the warranty for the Pixel XL is just one year, but it's not this second phone. They deliver you the warranty from the time of your original purchase. Now get this, the second phone died within about five days of that November 6 purchase in 2016. Had this died in 2000 or in like November 8th, I would get nothing from the Google lovely uh, care team. So just be aware. And again, uh, I, I also then, I'm, I asked that they give me the new phone, which I thought would be a better processor, um, better camera, mixed reviews on this uh, Pixel 2, but I thought, okay, the difference in the price I was told was $110. Now, the supervisor said not possible. If I wanted to go through the process, there's a form, you can do an upgrade. And I said, well, then just uh, look at your formula even though that replacement phone that they're going to ship me, which would be now, what is that? Phone number three. Um, I could upgrade it, but they would only give me $410 of value for a brand new in the box phone that I've never used. And you know, let's face it, that's a, a, what roughly a $900 Pixel 2 phone. It's like, uh, thank you, but why would I want to do that? So Google Pixel and the people in customer service are total corporate, uh, follow it by the book and you're not going to get anything. And I even said over and over to him that your business is the business model of Comcast. And those of you in the United States, you know what Comcast is and it does not have a good reputation. And I said, you know, why don't you like look into the Nordstrom's business model? Now Nordstrom's is an incredible department store in many places in the States and they've been around for a long time. Um, and I'm actually, believe it or not, wearing this shirt from Nordstrom's and their policy, no questions asked. You got a problem with anything you buy at Nordstrom's, they take it, they trade it, they refund you. It's not a hassle. You're not gonna spend 90 minutes with somebody that says it's not our policy and you're not going to get a thing from us. So Google Pixel, people, if you're looking to shop, um, I would really think twice about what you're gonna get as far as a warranty service kind of response from those people. You know, oddly enough, um, you know, the, the new Pixel 2 has a, a two-year warranty. So I think that's uh, really generous of them uh, to give you that. But for the price, uh, that should be a no-brainer and you should stand behind your products, Google. Um, your Comcast and you're really uh, quite disappointing. So that's my review. Like I say, I am not a computer, phone engineer, camera engineer. I don't know why these things are overheating. Some of you people will probably come online and see this video and share it with as many people as you can because seriously, think twice about a purchase with them. You know, it's making me think, uh, maybe I'm not so interested in doing business with Google. Um, so that's my story and uh, uh, it's a real disappointment. Thanks for watching, everybody.